I believe we're back. And here we go again, <laughs> round two. Although it says down here, it says starting. So I'm not sure if we've actually if started we actually or not. If we actually started. Oh, there we go. I think we started. I think we started. Yay. Okay, let's see if we can get some let's, comments let's this time. Let's see if we can see anybody coming on. Well, I think that you're now able to get into our live production, I, right? I am. I'm on a different computer. So let's see if I can <clears throat> see the live. We're back again. Mm -hmm. And so it says live. Let's see. Yes, so that's where we are. There Good for go. you. So all we need to know is what people are saying. Yeah, that's right. Exactly. Oh, there. People <laughs> are coming on board. Now we can see it there too. <laughs> oh boy, technology, I tell you. Some days it's a little trying. Thanks all for being patient with <laughs> exactly. us. Exactly. Good morning, good morning. Good morning, good, good morning. morning. Now yeah. we see you. Thank you. You know, it really feels weird when you're talking into empty space. It does, right? No one's acknowledging you. It's almost like, you know, my husband's here or something like that. <laughs> Anyway, all I did was reboot my computer. But listen, yesterday I was working on this computer too. Yeah. And I was recording a few things. And then when I played back the recordings, I noticed there was a tss, like all through the recording. Uh, so I rebooted and then it worked fine. So there's not just an old computer that I'm using here, right. which is like Windows 7. Yes. But, and probably there's, you know, things happening because they're not upgrading anymore. Yes. They're not yeah. protect, protecting right. us anymore. Um, and I knew I had to up upgrade this computer. I just didn't know. I didn't want to do it right away. Right away, because, you know, we've upgraded other computers. So, <laughs> it but, all costs money. Yeah, it does. Anyway, we're so happy to be back. Absolutely. Thank you, Tricia. Yes. Thanks to everyone. Yeah, the count is there, too. Yeah. <laughs> back again from Atlanta, Donna. And at the beginning, Jennifer Washburn Hall right away. Hello. Kathy Joan Next Nelson, Roxy, Emma, and let's see who else. Donna Granger, hello. Serena. Serena. Kathy Bird, hello. Lorraine. Good Yay. morning, Lorraine. We're back. <laughs> Thanks for your patience, everyone. And I, I'm really looking forward to um, talking with you gals for, yeah. for a while this morning. We're both kind of... Not really prepared necessarily, but we do have a few little things that we can yes, talk about. we do. And yeah. uh, hopefully all of you are as well as can be um, and that you are feeling uh, optimistic and uh, that you're keeping yourself busy yes. with uh, stitching. stitching. And apparently decluttering is right up there with things that people are doing at home. Oh, that's probably a good idea. I started doing it when I got back from my trip. Mm -hmm. I started decluttering, and it's taking forever to do one bookshelf. <laughs> <laughs> and then you have to have, like, boxes to put stuff in. So, and you, and, you know, you have to go to the liquor store or to the grocery store to get those empty uh, boxes. That's right. And then you have to interact with people with your mask on. And, yeah. oh, my goodness, it's, yeah. like, quite the thing to declutter. <clears throat> we also have some people that are actually accepting um, things again. Yes. Because for a while, of course, you couldn't do that. Windows 10 works great. You're right. It does. Jennifer, um, I have to say we're pr pretty happy yep. with our brand new computers in the rest it, of our in office. In the rest of the offices, yes. But guess what? This one was not replaced. That's right. <laughs> yes. Wouldn't you know it? <laughs> anyway, thank you both. Uh, thank you all, rather. Loretta's here. Uh, Linda Marchand. And Jennifer, thanks, Jennifer. Uh, Sarah Campbell. Sandy, Sandy Wierdzinski is here. Mary Widrowitz. Yay. Tammy Thompson, yay! Oh, Tammy, I didn't think you were joining us this morning. <laughs> no, so I glad thought to you would stop to. That's right. <laughs> Kathy James, Becky Clager, Kathy Monk, and Lorraine. We saw that one yeah. too. I'm so glad we can see all of you, and that um, we can now discuss. Ah, yes. So first of all, I have to say that the two weeks that we were away, which I said at the in the yeah. previous in issue the previous of this, start. yeah. <laughs> Um, was really important. I was just burned out. And I think that we'd had so many technical um, changes. Yes. We had yeah. uh, a new uh, website, website that we had to get used to. Everything yeah. shifted. Everything. I mean, everything. All our systems were yeah. completely different. And they didn't all work the way we were expecting. So there was so much newness. And then there was also all of the um, regular work. And then, yeah. of course, our financial situation is changing, as, yeah. as I'm sure it is for many of you. And so I just got crazy. Yeah. You, well, I've been telling you for a while you needed to take a break. And when I went on vacation, I said, you need a vacation. Oh, no, I'm good. 
No, you weren't. <laughs> I never take the right <laughs> advice. <laughs> I'm sorry about yeah. that. And then I ended up like, it's an emergency. Now I have to go without being able to let anyone know. I just left. Exactly. Um, but I did, and it was really good. It was just exactly what I needed. I ended up uh, up island at the... Um, there's a lovely seashore community up there and called Tofino and I got a cabin up there at a moment's notice. It was so And you're good. lucky that you could even get up there. They had closed those areas off to any visitors. Two days after yeah. they opened is when I was up there yeah. and it was just like luck, like you say. Exactly. I wouldn't have gotten it. So it was really pleasant. Even now, I feel I wake up in the morning, I'm still exhausted, yeah. but I'm functioning yeah. now, which You're, I wasn't uh, for a while. Absolutely. I just want to say thank you so much, Loretta, for your condolences about my grandmother. Um, it was sad that she passed away last week, but she was 98 years old and she'd been in a care facility for a while. And um, unfortunately, no one could go see her for the last few months. So it was kind of sad that way, but she had been wanting to pass for a long time. Yeah, so. that is something that you yeah. can uh, keep to yourself. Yeah. You're absolutely right. Yeah. <clears throat> well, it was very nice of you to remember, Loretta. Yeah. Yeah, these are the things in our lives that just happen. Absolutely. And, you know, they happen in spite of whether yeah. you're working or not working or whether you're, you know, you yourself are feeling better or not. We all get these ups and downs. A absolutely. And so, I know that it really affected Lisa because it, it was, um, you know, you're pretty close to your grandma. I was pretty close to my grandma. And I'm just so fortunate that I had her in my life for the, you know, f almost 59 years I've been here. So not too many people can say they've had their grandmother in their lives for 59 nine years so did you hear that? that that was a little dig yeah it was actually a huge broad hint it's almost her birthday it's all, almost, did you hear that almost 59 <laughs> three weeks shy of my birthday <laughs> yeah <laughs> that was very smart yeah. <laughs> i got it okay so yeah. we have to go out and we have to celebrate oh no no no, no, no that, was, right. that wasn't it at all so <laughs> I just think, you know, she was 39 when I was born. So, wow. yeah, she was a young grandma. How yeah. amazing. Yeah. Eh? Yeah. I know. She reminded me also of my mom. And yes. The yes. two of us often talked about it, that yeah. they had the same kind of... Very uh, similar mannerisms. And they were and born around the same time? We, um, well, I think your mother was, what, six months? How old would your mom be? My mom was 1920. She was born in 1920. And I think grandma was 22. There you go. Yeah, I, think I knew. It was, was very much the same. Because so, yeah. our difference in our age, yeah. combined with your mom yeah. being a very young mom. Yeah. Yes, my mother was a very young mother, too. So... <laughs> Well, thank you, ladies. Yeah, That's so thank nice. Thank you very much. And both yeah. of us are grateful to be back here, yeah. um, kind of starting to get back together. Yes. I yeah. did also want to mention that we're missing Petra. Um, Petra had uh, other things that she wanted to do at this time. We hope that sometime she'll yes. be back. But for yeah. the time being, I have to do all of the technical <laughs> work. And honestly, it's not what I'm kind of signed up for. No, you were kind of hoping to get away from that, but... Uh, On the other hand, yes. Um, what I will do is I'll do the best I can. So when yeah. you get a mail out that doesn't look quite right or the links are broken, yeah. don't be surprised. Yeah. Just email us and we'll try to fix it as best as we possibly can. No, no, don't email us. No. Yeah. No, because we can't. Once the mail out is gone... I can't fix that mail out. There's no, no way. That, that's true. That's so, true. you know, just go to the website and find things. Yeah. <laughs> so right now I have preset a sale. Okay. Yes. So the sale is preset. I'm telling you guys first, and then I'll try and make a mail out to everyone on our <laughs> list. Um, but the sale is going to start at 10. So it's preset for 10 o'clock in the morning. And uh, the discount uh, code is going to be uh, summer sale. Summer sale. Uh, one word, yeah. summer sale. And it is on all of the patterns. So it's, I think it's all the printed patterns so far. I don't think I put in all the PDFs, but I can go back in and see if I can do that a bit later. Anyway, so it's all the patterns and the act packs. And that brings us to another subject. Okay. Yes. Act packs. Act packs. We're, <laughs> we're out of stock on several of them at this point in time. Um, not to say that they won't be back, it's just that um, there's a little bit of a time lag with shipping. 
at the moment. Yeah, we had some issues. We, of course, some people, sorry, some of the companies that we order from, all yeah. the raw materials, they weren't functioning. And then there's mail delays. Exactly. And we've had things on, on order for several months yeah. uh, by now. But things are coming in. They are slowly starting to move. <laughs> the problem is we yeah. can't make one act pack that has the one item in it that's missing. That's right. Yes. So even though we might have almost everything else in that act pack. If we're still missing one item... We still can't make that. Exactly. So, so we're working hard we are, to get we them are, restocked. Yes. <laughs> yeah. But in the meantime, it looks like we've had, well, we actually did um, sell a number of those act packs. We did. Over the, sum, uh, over the, the June, last few right? months. Yeah. yeah. And that yep. was really a big surprise. Although, when you think about it. Yeah, people, people are enjoying stitching, which is great. It's actually That's, amazing that a, we had so many people A wonderful wanting. pastime yes. um, during this time period so exactly and the fact that we yep. sold out is on our side on the business side yep. of us a very good sign absolutely it means that you love the things That's that right. we make so thank yep. you and it's bringing you um some joy and some peace and that's, exactly. that's a great thing exactly so you've got some little bit of um company news um yes. i'll be trying to do the technical work and all that means is the mail out and anything that goes on the website. Absolutely. And so we'll do those two things as best we can. As best we can. <laughs> We're both trying to learn how to do things. So Yeah, well you're doing yeah. really well with all of the things that the orders are coming in and things that are happening on the website. Yes, I'm I mean, trying to keep up. And you know, Petra really I think did I'm, an amazing I'm relatively job. Relatively sane. Yeah, you're pretty sane. <laughs> <laughs> no, I wanted to say that Petra did an amazing she job. She did, absolutely. She's got such high skills. She's actually a little overqualified for a little Victoria Sampler. Yeah. But the things that she did to make Victoria Sampler website, honestly, there was so much, and mo almost all of it was done um, before she decided not to work for us for the yeah. time being. So I'm so grateful, if Petra, if you're listening, and hopefully you are, I just want you to know how much we appreciate Absolutely. shop. Our, yeah. our shop is awesome, and it is working, except, of course, there's going to be some learning on our side. Yes. To continue to make it work. Yay, learning! <laughs> yeah, <that's right. laughs> it looks like people are still talking to you about your uh, grandma. Yes, so that's they are. So Thank nice. you very much. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> So we've talked about everything that we had on our list. Yeah. Oh, we moved real fast, <laughs> didn't we? We were afraid that we had technical errors again. And so let's get it done and said right now. That's yeah. right. <laughs> so how was your last two weeks? How was it while I was away? Uh, well, you know what? Um, mm -hmm. We missed you terribly, but things were ran fairly smoothly. There was no major interruptions or anything like that so i think that was pretty you good and kathleen and still getting along kathleen and i get along very nicely <laughs> actually so yeah, yeah, yeah kathleen yeah. does an awful lot of the um organizing of our inventory she does she does do a lot shipping. of organizing and shipping packaging the orders getting them out making sure we have the packs and unfortunately she can't make packs without us having the supplies in so and but you guys got along really well we, well we what have you really focused well? on in the last two weeks yourself Geez, what did I focus on? I got uh, three of the creative designs mm -hmm. from Stitch Alongs. Um, in put, the past. Put, put in, 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 from the past. Right. Put into um, instructions for um, the website. So I've done that. So because we had those creative patterns um, for the, they're actually the ones from the Stitch Alongs, Stitch -alongs right? Ex ex you just said. Exactly. So I had to take all the parts. Oh, uh, five or four parts. Exactly, and put them together. So, And you did that? I did three of them. <laughs> so that sounds yeah. like uh, I'm going to find out how to put those up on our that, website. That's right, exactly. Something new to learn. So That'll be exciting. It will. Yes. And um, what else did you do? Oh, geez. Because, you know, you know I didn't do nothing. <laughs> time becomes a blur some days. What did I do? I'm sure I did more than that. It's just kind of yeah. hard to remember everything I did. Um well, sorry, I'm no. going blank. That's okay. <laughs> I've gone blank myself once in a while because uh -huh. this is all still kind of unusual and new for us. That's, for that's some right. reason, two weeks have gone by and I've totally forgotten yeah, what it's what, like what, to communicate with you guys. That's right, yes. And, you know, instead of giving you just the news from Victoria Sampler, I really want to also engage you guys because you've been going through your yes. things. 
and I'm not sure what you've all gone through in the last couple of weeks since I've been away, but I also don't keep up too much with the Facebook group mm -hmm. uh, at the moment because I'm still recovering. So yes. thank you for that. Mm -hmm. uh, but recovering from the fall too that you had oh, last I week. Forgot that, about you my forgot fall. about that. Yeah, I've got yeah. proof. I've yeah. got proof here somewhere. Where, Where is oh, it? Oh, you're, you're there. Yes, there. <laughs> and then also the um, your arm too and my rep oh yeah that's right and yeah it's great well, there it's actually very good right now yeah it's, it's looking pretty good all. you yeah, had a band-aid there for it's a while healing. so uh -huh. <laughs> anyway that fall was awful and uh, I yesterday I went to the chiropractor again and he finally loosened up all my ribs so now I'm not under uh, oh, such extreme yes, pain breathing yeah I had yeah. a lot of pain in the last uh, week and that was probably another reason why I'm still feeling yeah. a little groggy absolutely did you take your shoes back no, but they're coming back. They're oh. going back this weekend. <laughs> One thing at a time. She had bought new shoes and then decided to go for a, white, a walk with them. So. Yep, and yeah. they were a little higher than usual. Like, the, they're running shoes, yeah. walking shoes. But the, they, the, I don't know. They were I? ridiculously yeah, high. I, I think the clunkier, the better these days. I guess. This must be the new fashion or something. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. No. <laughs> Anyway, I didn't pick up my feet well enough, so slammed into the roadway, which they had just resurfaced with fresh gravel. Oh, <laughs> nice of them to do that, yes. Make it nice and, you know, not so soft for landing. Exactly, so. exactly. But yeah. my rib is feeling a lot better, oh, so good. thank you, Sarah. Yeah. Anyway, um, so you've also, this last week, you also um, were doing a number of things like book work and talking to our wholesalers because we still well, have that's right, exactly. shops are still ordering from yes, us too. I, yeah, that, I've been talking to people and, um, you know, orders and trying to place new orders for some more raw materials. Yeah, and didn't we order like twice this last month? We Well, we ordered beginning of June and... Um, again yesterday. Well, again yesterday, yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so, so we're doing our best. We're doing our best, <laughs> yes. Anyway, yeah. we were, I was in the middle of trying to talk to them, uh, to you all, about your two weeks. Absolutely. So, because I haven't kept up with Facebook, I don't want you to think that I'm ignoring you. I, in fact, I'm looking forward to seeing all your stitch alongs, because I know that there are many that were pictured. I did see them coming through, um, but I want to collect them all and put them all in an album at some mm -hmm. point. And, of course, yes. that takes a little bit of time. Um, but I also i am not keeping up with some of the news that you guys have. I mean, uh, I know things are also up um, let's say um, unsettled in all sorts of areas in in the world mm -hmm. um, but I do send out my uh, sincere wishes for you know calm and health kindness yeah for all of you yeah. because I know this is not an easy time for any of us and actually some of the things that I've been noticing that contributed to my feeling of burnout was this feeling of uh, never-ending vigilance. I don't know if you get that same feeling. Mm -hmm. It's it's mm -hmm. kind of like this feeling that you're that you're kind of trapped in this new environment, this yeah. new paradigm. And now what? Like, will there ever be an end? And we get a little more predictability. Uh, absolutely. And I think that that must be affecting just about everyone. Oh, I think so. Definitely. You know, yeah. there is no. There is nothing that we can do, just to confront what's going on. Yeah. And that can be very exhausting. So I, I, I can feel it, that's for sure. And I'm sure most of you are too. Rachel says, we are here, waving. Yay! Well, that's good. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not hearing uh, about too many people. How many people are on board? 40. 40, 40 right 40 now. of you. Yeah. Awesome. We don't have that on this one anymore. That's no, very odd, isn't no. it? But when we go to yeah. Windows 10, we'll probably yeah. get that. Oh, maybe. <laughs> I don't know. It could yeah. be. Um, one of the other things that I wanted to do today was to um, put up the stitch along. Yes. The new stitch along, it's almost ready. Yeah. And again, I have I have the mail out to do and the new stitch along. Yeah, right. So give me, a few, yeah. in fact, a few hours would yeah. be good um, <laughs> because I, it isn't quite ready yet. And even though I might make mistakes, I will put it up. Because yeah. it's partly done. Uh, yay. And it, it was going to be some hard anger, but I have decided yesterday that's no too much anger. for me. Yeah. So I thought I'll just make it a little more simple. Um, and over the weeks, I'll include some more diagrams, etc. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. taking it easy on my part is yes. important. So I decided yeah. to do the circle one. I think that's a great idea. <laughs> 
because the Hardinger one means I have to teach you. Yeah. If you haven't already done cluster blocks, I'll have to teach to you to do the cluster blocks in the diagrams, in the, in yes. the instructions. And it's not fair if I don't do that. So I thought, ah, I'll leave it this time. Save it for another time. Exactly. Yeah. Oh, by the way, we do have a little new mini pattern up on our website. It's a mini pattern and it is a PDF download and I believe it is not free. Um, Petra had a method of making things free and then not free. I can't figure that out. So I'm just going to say it's up on the mini patterns and it's called the Summer Biscor New. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. have a peek. Uh, all you need to do is go to our website and there will you'll look under shop and under shop you will see um, patterns and under patterns I believe the mini patterns that's that's the way she set it up so look for mini patterns or look for summer biscor new mm -hmm. in in the search box yeah. and then you'll see that one and biscor news are fun to make <laughs> they are oh yeah. Lorraine says a yeah. few days for the stitch along would be fine don't yeah. push yourself <laughs> oh thank you <laughs> I have these standards I set yeah. I don't know you do too oh, yeah, right definitely yeah. it's the way we've lived our lives yeah and you know, it's at a certain point you can't do that That's anymore. That's right. Yeah. Oops. Oh. <laughs> there I go. This yeah. is the kind of thing that yeah. happens to me when I'm burned out. <laughs> so anyway, um, I know it's a little embarrassing to be sitting here having a few tears, but, but hey, it's the, actually it, good. It's good to release those. It is. It is good to release them. them. You're yeah. absolutely right. Well, I have to say what I finally did was finish something. Actually, you did it last week, didn't you? I, I finally finished the needle shell for Mermaid Song. There it is. There it is. Congratulations. Exactly. Actually, so, it looks gorgeous. And there's the... I'm hat. always so amazed at your ability to make things look absolutely effortless. And so but now, they're not effortless, are they? No. This, and then you open it up. And it's oh, fine. there you go. It's a little felt. <laughs> and so it then goes with the pocket that I finished a while ago. Yes, and I think you showed this one, didn't I you? I probably did. Yes, but yeah. beautifully done. And then the scissor case. With the mermaid with on the, the front. Mermaid. And, you know, believe it or not, I have had this. Scissor fob was actually the first thing that I I stretched and you I finished. finished. Like finished. But the but pearl cotton... <laughs> My husband, yeah, who has this. helped me with pearl cotton in the past, he kept on saying, I'll help you tomorrow. Well, you know what happens with tomorrow, right? <laughs> tomorrow never comes. So so this morning you asked me. This morning I asked Taya. So here, is this the, yeah. the empty one? That's so right. what we're going to do is, is we've we're already got this exactly. ready to go. Pencils, the pearl cotton, <laughs> and basically keep on wrapping and wrapping, and then you twist it to make Yes, yes, and we're going to do it right after this stream. Right after, <laughs> yeah. And how you determine the right size of cording that you need is I normally take the finished piece, I measure around, and then I figure out how long of a loop I want and how long of a tassel. So I take that measurement and I multiply it by three. And so that's the distance you want to hold the pencils apart mm -hmm. to wrap the pearl cotton around to make the cording the right size. Exactly. So if is anybody uh, not sure about how to do um, cording? cording? Because do you have a, a I thing on the... I got a video of making cording. We should make a video one day. Are you sure? I thought we had one for one of the um, finishing parts of one of our past teaching pieces. Now I'm trying to think which one. No, we've never well, really done it we, though, have we? We've not done it on video. We do have photos kind of. Yes, in the leaflets. In the leaflets, but we've never actually done a, a video of it because we have to stand quite a ways <laughs> apart. And so we so we'll have to do a real short one. That, that's right, exactly. Make, yeah. a, make a cording like make a cording. this long, yeah. which still means you have to make it two and a half that, times that's as right. long. Exactly. So that could still work. That could still work. And then, yeah. and then that would at least give yeah. some idea. Some idea on making cording. Does anybody have any issues with doing cording yourselves? Here, the people here are so smart, though. Yes. I mean, they yeah. come here and they already know a whole bunch of stuff. <laughs> oh, look at this! Beautiful. The Thank pocket you. is beautiful. Thank you. Oh, Sarah says yeah. she's finished a three-year unfinished object. Oh, yay! <laughs> Well, I have to, I hate to say this, um, Mermaid Song's been sitting on my sewing table for well over a year. 
never mind how long ago I stitched it because this was for one of our retreats in 2008 mm -hmm. and so it has sat there for a long time I'm very happy to have it finished <laughs> I don't blame you <laughs> how long has it been well, 2008 when I stitched it. I don't think I finished it in 2008, but it was the retreat in 2008. Right. And then I think it um, sat in the box for, for a while. A, probably a good, you know, eight, nine years. And then it sat on my sewing table for a year and a bit. And now you've got it done. And now I've got it done. How long did it take for you to actually get through? Because you didn't do it all at one no, time. No, I, I didn't. I would, you know... Do a little bit here and there, That's right? right. It probably would take, a, a, you know, a day or so to finish it if I you know, really went really at it. concentrated mm -hmm, on it. Mm -hmm. But I would do, you know, bits here and there. And, you know, and I find that the most difficult part of any of this finishing is making the templates. That is, you know, the most difficult part. I remember when you first started finishing uh, Victoria Sampler mm -hmm. things, and I remember you really working hard over the templates the templates are the most important that's the foundation of the piece itself yeah and measuring it correctly absolutely using a photocopier if yep. you can luckily we have one in the, yep. sh in the right. shop but you know if you haven't you can scan it at 100 yep. percent and yep. then print that scan it has to basically have the right shape and then you still even after that you have to make it a template for the template that's right like the paper pattern yes then becomes the cardboard that's right yeah so the paper pattern you can shave off like never yeah. cut it really too small cut nope. it a little too big and then it's, use the actual uh, absolutely it's much easier to trim a little bit more off than go oh darn this is too small and having to start again it's like hair <laughs> that's right exactly except for the template won't grow back no that's, that's true <laughs> Uh, Dory Davis says she finished the Victorian piece over the weekend. I saw that, Dory. Yes, I, I really must get mine done, too. That's another thing that's been fit, sitting in the finishing box. Actually, when I had this almost done um, last, was it, might have been on Saturday or Sunday, I started going through my finishing boxes going, what am I going to finish next? So I kind of have three things on my sewing table right now. Have you decided which one yet? Uh, well, a couple of them are like I've got the strawberry pin cushion and the Victorian pin cushion. The pin cushion for Victorian pin cushion is already done, but I have the, all the extra smalls and they're kind of done the same way. So I might tackle two at the same time. Same time? time? Oh my goodness, it, you, is your name Yvonne? No. <laughs> because Yvonne, no, our yeah. friend, used to do three or four at the same at time. Same time. But this is doing the same steps. So, yeah, that's yeah. right. No, it's a really good yeah. way of doing it. It, it makes it means that you're doing the same step twice, that's, that's all. That's right. And you've exactly. got all the right instruments uh, there. And you've everything. got everything, materials out at the same time. Yeah, so. that's a yeah. good reason to yeah. not uh, finish anything. That's right. Until you have two or three of them yes. at, a, at the time, yeah. right? Then that's what you're doing. That's why you're you're not finished no exactly it's a good and then i also have victorian purse on the my sewing table as well but that's you know you have to start all over again with those yes are yes. they the same little objects than, than well, the other two um it's using the two ply mat board for the you could do three at a time i could i <laughs> i'll see how it goes you know <laughs> it might be all too overwhelming and i have them on the table and then i might just go oh, yeah, back in the box it goes. So. Dory, I just wanted to also say that I saw the picture of your Victorian purse. Gorgeous. Yes. Just beautiful. Thank you for mentioning it because, of course, uh, my memory isn't as good as it has been in the past. <laughs> and so just to see uh, the picture that you had shown us, your finishing is perfect. It really is. And Trisha says she loves your um, your Thank you, mermaid Trisha, yes. song. Willica, thank you so much for saying you'd yeah. love to see us sit side by side. Well, we've been side by side for some time. We have. And, yeah. and actually, there's been no COVID um, things on Vancouver Island where we live. Yeah. I think there was one last week. There was week, one last week. But it was, again, in one of those yeah. um, um, retirement home care thing, care situations. Facilities. Yeah. So I just wanted you guys to know that we've been very careful, the two of us, mm -hmm. and most people on the island wear masks anywhere Absolutely. we go. Yeah. 
And when we go outside, we do not leave our masks at home. We that, put them on. That's right. Even, you know, popping into the grocery store last night. Especially. My my mask <laughs> goes on. Yeah. It sits right beside me on my in my car. Yeah, so. exactly. It's just what so. we do. But on the other hand, um, we are also very grateful for our... We have very few cases on the island here. And, but also, yeah. we have a very good uh, guidance. We do. We know exactly yes. what we're doing, and we're hardly like yeah. moving forward with opening everything. Yeah. But I had a restaurant meal a couple of uh, weeks ago. Oh, did you? Yes, and I had one last two days ago. Went to one of our favorite restaurants, Romeo's, and everyone was sitting 12 feet apart because mm. they had the mm -hmm. room. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, but they uh, served us a lovely meal, and the waitress was wearing her uh -huh. thing and yeah. stuff. So. Um, we're sitting close because we see each other all day that's long. That's right. We're kind of in the same bubble. And so, that's right. We're in a yeah. family bubble. We're in the same bubble. So, Thank you, Loretta, for making me feel better about oh. crying on camera. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate that so much. Thanks, Tanya. And Sandy says how wonderful it is. Um, the written instructions in your pamphlets for making courting are excellent. Well, yeah. that is a compliment from Lorraine for Lisa because... Lisa does all the instructions, essentially, yeah, thank you. every yeah. bit of the instructions that you see. And they're all just as perfect as her finishing. Seriously. Thank you. They really are. Yeah. Lisa, you can make cording without a partner by pulling, oh, putting the loose end under your sewing machine presser foot. Could, yeah. It's, what do you think? It's much more fun to make it with somebody else. <laughs> <laughs> That's probably what, what you do, right, Donna Granger? You probably make your courting because you can't wait for other people to come along and finish things with you. I think that um, it's a really nice idea. I'm not sure what the other end, like if it loosens up, I would be really upset about the put press and, the foot not being strong enough. What I'm concerned about is how do you wrap it? Like quite often if I'm making courting, I'm making long long cord that's right yeah. actually we stand about what 12 feet apart yeah sometimes, some, sometimes. yeah so, so i don't know whether that would be uh -huh. so easy to do the wrap but short yeah. pieces yeah, yeah probably and i have used my when i'm making long pieces i'll use my sewing machine and then my husband is holding the other pencil quite a ways away and i do the wrapping and then i take uh, it off my sewing machine and then do the spinning yeah to make the cording yeah so I have used my sewing machine in some aspects, but not uh, to make it by myself, no. And then no. there's all the, also these winders that you can you get, can, yes. cording yeah. makers. Yeah. But it's got the same principle. One end is there doing the winding. Yeah, that's right. But the other end, it, even if you use it, who's going to do the winding if you're 10 feet apart? That's, that's I, right. I never get, did get yeah. that. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. Uh, I think that we've been making courting together here at the office or yes. you at home with Bob uh, yes. for so many years. We don't even, we can't even visualize doing, doing it by myself. <laughs> like, no, no, what fun is that? <laughs> Mary Widrowitz, thank you very much. I appreciate your hugs very much. Thank you. Linda says she uses a manual courting Green tool. tool. Yeah. See, there you go again. You're using a courting tool. I think it would be really nice if all of you who have ideas make a video for us. Mm. And we can see it on your yes. Facebook channel. That's right. Exactly. And that way. Yeah. <laughs> Trisha says, don't encourage us not to finishing. Yeah. Yes, but I was just giving you good rationalizations. <laughs> I'm very good at those. <laughs> uh, Dory says, thank you, Taya. It's all due to your great patterns and Lisa's instructions. Thanks, Absolutely. Dory. Thank you so much. Hey, you so glad you took some time out for yourself. Aw. Oh, I'm tearing up again. Nope. I have a funny feeling that being burned out does this. Oh, definitely. Yes. And Elise says, stitch along. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> um, Patty England Dag says, hi. And I don't know what that is. Hi there, probably. Uh, yeah. That's probably what it is. Hi there. And thank you, Patty. Yeah. Appreciate it. I'm getting there. I'm not quite better yet, but I'm getting there. Tia and Lisa, it's wonderful to see and listen to both of you. I've missed you last couple of weeks because she's gone back to work. Uh, oh, okay. yay. Well, that's good yeah. news. And uh, Actually, Kathy Joan, you haven't missed much because yeah. we weren't we there for two we weeks. We haven't been here. Yeah. <laughs> so, obviously, you couldn't have even seen us even if you'd not been at work. Oh, Rachel, you're not in Israel. That sounds, and you're having a cup of tea. So, that yeah. sounds like you're in a good place. Uh, Tricia says she uses clamps on the edge of two doors to wrap the length. 
So one door and another. Okay. We could do that. Yeah. Hey, that's yeah. a really good yeah. idea, Trisha. Trisha. <laughs> Trishy. I followed Vaughn according tutorial. Um, uh, maybe that's Yvonne's. I'm not no, sure. I think Vaughn, um, she's a finishing, um, I can't remember what it, she's, is it Twisted Sisters? No. Oh, could okay. Be... Do, okay. Yeah. Uh, there are a number yeah. of finishing There's, people out yeah. there, but thank you very yeah. much for that suggestion. That's good. I'm glad that you have that so that you can uh, look it up. Uh, on the other hand, we also should have one. We should, yes. <laughs> Oh, Jennifer. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> I needed the laughter. We needed the laughter too. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, it's really funny when you laugh and cry at the same time. Yeah. It really makes a kind yeah. of a tangle in your head. <laughs> a mixed emotion. <laughs> that's right. A oh, cutbook. Now that's a good one too. I can loop the floss or pearl over it and then I use a Dremel for quick ah, winding. Mm -hmm. oh, I love Dremels. Yeah. <laughs> I just got a Dremel. Oh, did you? I did. Oh. It was for my nails. Our nails oh. were so bad by the time we actually got, got back to a yes. nail salon. And, oh, I did the same nails as Lisa did. Yes. Are we going to show? Yeah, show yours first because okay. they're really beautiful. Here's mine. And then I thought, oh, I could never look like that. And then guess what? I put them on as well. And even they though my fabulous. fingers are completely different than Lisa's, they look fine too. They look fabulous. So I'm really yeah. happy with my French tips. Yeah. <laughs> Um, anyway, I really like the idea of a cup hook. Thank you, Judy. Sarah Campbell says, thank you all. Just finished cutting the away knots off. Just need to find the missed stitches and it's ready for the framer. What Isn't piece that are you stitching though? I think that there, she mentioned earlier. Um, anyway, Sarah, I've already forgotten yep. what you mentioned, but what, what are you stitching again? Rachel says, no, back in the UK for my mother's funeral. Uh -huh. That's, Sorry about that, Rachel. Yeah, really, hearts uh, go yeah. out to you and condolences on your mom's passing. Those things are not easy, particularly in a different country. Yeah. Must be very difficult, and I'm so happy for you that you're able to travel uh, because I know that there was some issues Absolutely. with traveling uh, to and from Europe. So <laughs> you must have managed to get to the UK in some way, and I'm glad you did. Sandra says, nice to see you both. Nice, nice to, to see, see you, you too, too. Sandra. <laughs> Uh, Vonna Pfeiffer. Thank you, Patty. And it is Twisted Stitcher. Yeah. There you go. Good for you. You remembered. Linda says, better to use two pencils for the loops at the ends, then use a heavy dresser. <laughs> okay, you have to have a dresser with drawers and wedge one end oh. in the drawer. <laughs> close, when... close the drawer so the pencil's sticking up and then you can twist it. Yeah. yeah. Okay. When yeah. twisted enough, I use a bent paper clip and hang my keys from the clip. Loop the paper clip onto the middle of the cording. And voila. And voila magic. <laughs> oh, I've got to see this. Can you make a video? video? <laughs> we need to see this, Linda. Linda says cording. That's okay. We got it. Yeah. We got what you were doing. Thank you, Karen Tiang. It's nice to see you too. I'm feeling better. No doubt about it. Just a little emotional here and there, but feeling a lot better and able to function again, which is really good. Karen says, good morning to you too. Norma, I own a battery operated contraption for twisting my cord. Works great. <laughs> yeah, there's a contraption, right? There's a, some kind of a twister or whatever it is. Um, good thanks. morning, Karen. Thanks, Sandra. Uh, see, your nails are looking great. Thank you. Oh, okay. She still does her own. Yeah. And, you know, there's a time when I'm going to be really like, brave and I'm going to take my Dremel and go nur, 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 and see if I can do it. But gel nails are a little harder to do well. Like I could do one of my hands, but working with my left hand on yeah. my right would be like... Absolutely. I, I, I would have the stuff all over the place. <laughs> I mean, I, I know I've painted my nails before and I would end up with nail polish all over my fingers and all that <laughs> kind of stuff. That's much easier just to go to somebody and have it done. Yeah, it is. It yeah. is. And if you've um, decided that that's part of your budget, mm -hmm. then you just do yeah. that, right? Thanks, Karen. Appreciate that. And Tabby says she's finished stitching the greens on the blank nope. tree. <laughs> well done. But that takes a while. That takes a while, absolutely. Just so you know, I think <laughs> many of you already do know this. I stitch every part of every, every design, design I design. Mm -hmm. So when I started with that tree, I thought, oh, goodness. <laughs> It's going to take a long it's time. It's going to take, yeah. <laughs> and, and it did. But on the other hand, 
um, I could make it smaller if I wanted to or bigger if I wanted to. Yes. And I kept yep. going, like I started at the top and then I just kept stitching down further until I thought, okay, that's just perfect. So you don't have that option because yeah. you're following my lead and you know how much further you're going to go. Anyway, you could make it smaller if you wanted to. That's the cool thing about you trees. You can, absolutely. Exactly. So it's already 20 after. I can't it believe is. I it. I can't believe. Yeah. One of the things we did in this particular stream is when we first started, um, we have another one there. I think it's yes. uh, the first beginning of this. Yeah, a couple of minutes. We didn't have any discussion group. And it's kind exactly. of hard to see what people were talking about. So we started again. So we actually basically started at 22 the yeah. hour, and yeah. it's now 20 after the hour. Yeah. So thank you all for being here. This is our Absolutely. first time after being away. Yeah. And um, we're going to get back to work now and get you the stitch along pattern. Yes. The first part, I don't even have a model of it because guess what? It's not it's completely not really. ready, but yeah. hopefully you'll enjoy it. It's, it's a little thing, but it'll be fun, hopefully, yes. for us all to focus on. And don't forget, if you haven't got the fifth part of, or any of the other um, patterns for Stay Home and Stitch, is that the last one that's up now? Uh, yes. The yes. last month's yes. and the months before's yes. patterns, yes. if you don't download them, they're going to be, be gone. gone, okay? So don't forget to do that yeah. before I replace them with the very first part of Daisy Chain. Absolutely. That's what it's called. Yeah. Thank you, Jennifer Wash, uh, Washburn Hall. Uh, Karen has a question. If I have to wash my finished hard hanger with silk thread, what do I use to do it? Um, as far as washing is concerned, there's so many different options and opinions as mm -hmm. to how you are mm -hmm. going to wash things. If you find that your piece is um, extremely dirty, then I would suggest regular, um, uh, it's a kind of a soap, um, what's it called, it's, uh, ivory soap, in, mm -hmm. it's like a detergent that yeah. you use for clothing because it's the most pure soap. Absolutely. But there are others, don't ever dry clean. No. Apparently that's really bad for the, the linen and possibly also for the silks. But yeah. silks are are um, pretty, like a silk thread is stronger than cotton thread. So you think you might need to treat it more carefully. But actually the silk thread itself is actually stronger, which is why people want to use it. Mm -hmm. It lasts a lot longer than, than cotton, cotton thread. Does. Yeah. So I wouldn't worry about that. Never scrub always just gently push your um, fabric through the soapy water and then you squeeze it you don't wring it you squeeze it and then you rinse about three or four or five times yeah if you've used any colors at all in your hard that angle run. piece that they could run so i would recommend that if you want to test for those colors you take the colored flosses that you had stitched the hard hanger piece with take those colored flosses cut a piece off and put it on a paper towel, on a white paper towel, mm -hmm. and then spritz it with water and wait for two or three hours and see if it runs into the paper towel. You'll see the color actually yeah. leaching into the paper yeah. towel. And then if that's the case, um, if you've waited to wash it, then don't wash it. And if you have not waited to wash it, you will end up having to rinse really carefully, like Absolutely. a lot of times through lukewarm uh, water. Yeah. So I use lukewarm water when I do wash. If I'm careful, everything work, turns out really well. Another um, good soap for that, there's another good soap for washing. Or Orvis? Please. Orvis, yes, thank you. Yes, it's called Orvis, and you might find it online. I haven't actually used it. No. I, I use the pure um, mm -hmm. uh, detergent soap not detergent so those are my hints and do you have any other suggestions no because i'm afraid i never wash my pieces neither so, do i yeah, yeah i wash my hands I wash not my, my hands. pieces yeah and i keep it on a frame and i i very seldom touch the piece itself so um my yeah. uh, both of us have seen horror stories of people who wash their things but if your hard hanger is just all one color mm -hmm. you should have no problem yeah really. yeah it is and the colors that mostly run are reds, darker ones, right? dark dark reds, greens, intense ones, purple, yeah. blue, purple, all yeah. of the dark dark colors. Yeah, because yeah. they have a lot yeah. of dye in them. Absolutely. 
And uh, I don't know what else uh, we can say as far as uh, f washing your finished hard hanger, since we don't know what the piece looks mm -hmm. like. Uh, if it's a runner, for instance, if it's meant to lie, then you have to be able to wash That's it. That's right, exactly. So, and, and chances are dark colors weren't used. So, yeah, you should be able to, and no problem. When it's finished and you lay it flat to dry, don't put it in the dryer, then turn it over onto yep. a folded towel, turn it over, and even then use a press cloth to put your, to steam your, uh, or to iron on the opposite side of your fabric. Yeah. I hope those hints help, Karen. Rachel says, hugs and take care. Thank you. Love seeing you both. Thanks, happy Sarah. 4th. Yes, absolutely. Oh, happy 4th of July to you. Happy um, belated Canada Day to all of our Canadian, Canadian friends. friends. Yes, I put out a, Can yeah. uh, a happy Canada Day on, mm -hmm. um, on the group, which is good. Thank you to remember to download the free designs. <laughs> You're welcome, Willica. Uh, Trisha's saying happy uh, 4th of July. Dory says my silk ribbons got flattened. Is there a way to fluff them up? Yes, you can steam them. Yes. Hold them yeah. over. Be careful of your hands, though. Yeah. Over a kettle. S over a kettle with steam coming up. Yeah. And just use a needle or some kind of a, an instrument to uh, push them and then they stay there uh, just like that uh, exactly don't pull too hard because you'll pull them right out yeah <laughs> be careful yeah. is all but yes you can steam them it's a really good way to do things and silk ribbon really responds well as soon as it's a little bit wet from the steam and the hot steam at that and then you lay it down and you use your tapestry needle to just fluff it up a little bit uh, it'll look much nicer okay. Mary says she's changing the subject I'm having trouble finding bell pull hardware Oh, we got some coming in, don't we? We do. Um, it, I'm not too sure what size you're needing, Mary. I think we're getting um, a 10 centimeter and a 12 centimeter one in. But yeah, finding bell pull hardware is really difficult. It's been much more difficult yeah. than we thought. And we can't find the things that no. we would like. I no. mean, we've seen no. bell pull hardware. We've seen bell pull hardware, but it's just a little bulky and mm -hmm. not the style that we're wanting to use. But, mm -hmm. you know... There are bell pull, pull hardwares out there. Go, uh, I would go Google and do bell pull hardware and see yeah. what you can find. Another option, and somebody did that not too long mm -hmm. ago, uh, is she used a twig because her yes. her sampler was a little bit um, country-ish. Yeah. And so the twig from a tree worked really well. Absolutely. You don't have to use a pre-made special bell That's pull right. hardware. Yes. Um, but the old-fashioned bell pull hardware doesn't seem to be as um, yeah. m m uh, popular anymore no. or just not being available. It could be that the, the base, the brass that's used to make them um, is harder to find. Yes, right. You know, they're... We don't know why, yeah. but Google and Google yeah. and Google. And we are getting in some 10 and... Is it 12? 12? 10 just, and 12. 10 and 12. And it, it's just that iron-looking one. It's not... Uh, Pewter, uh, right? Yeah. Pewter. Yeah. And that's yeah. 10 and 12 centimeters. Just so yes, you're... not inches. No. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and Karen, how do you spell Orvis? O-R-V-U-S. Sandra mm -hmm. also doesn't wash her stitched pieces. Thanks, Sylvie. Hi, you're Sylvie. here. And Brenda is giving some wonderful uh, hints oh, here. Bell Look pulls. at that. Bell pull yeah. hardware. Geodex.com. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Thank you, uh, Brenda. And that's at Ye Old Stitchery, which is a great shop. Yep. Kathy James, thank you very much for all you do. Please take care of yourself. Thank and you. that means both of us, I know. Uh, and <coughs> there we go. More about Irvis. And you can use a doll and paint it. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. There's lots and lots of ways that you can hang your um, hardware. Yeah. So actually, it would be really fun to make one out of something. Something found. Yes. Whether it's a doll or, I don't know, yeah. a, coat, a coat hanger. <laughs> You can do all sorts of things with wire and I don't the, know. The other thing I was thinking is, um, I wonder if you could go to like a blacksmith shop. Mm -hmm. Because they're used to dealing um, with metal anyways. Yeah. And see if you could find um, someone that would make one for you. But, you know, that's... Oh, and by the way, I have also painted hardware before. Yes, you have. Yeah. I, I use a spray paint and I spray painted um, just a regular looking it little... Was a brass one that you painted red. Yeah. Yeah. And I painted it with two coats, and it worked yeah, it great. It worked really good. Yeah, so mm -hmm. that's another idea. Yeah. Okay, you guys, I think that's it, it's right? Time. Mm -hmm. It's time. It's probably time. Mm -hmm. It's now 1030. I know, but we were doing just we well were. because we didn't get started on yeah, time. Yeah, exactly. Thank you all yeah. for staying with and us. It always picks up at the end anyways. 
And how many people are here? Uh, we've 40, got 46. 46 yeah. of you. Look at you all. Thank you yep. so much for being here and keep watching for and checking out um, the sale that's going to be on our website. The discount in the discount box, the word is yep. going to be summer, summer sale. sale, all one word. So put that in and you'll see if you can get a discount or not, which I'm sure you mm -hmm. will. At least if I did everything right on the website. I hope I did. Yes. <laughs> I'm going to have to test this myself. Yeah. <laughs> and I will also send you a follow-up email if I can. Yes. Okay. So and Today then, is a learning day. It is. <laughs> a technical learning day. And the stitch along uh, will be up as soon as I can make that too. So yeah. both, of, both of us uh, send our... Um, good wishes to all of you. Absolutely. Happy stitching. Yes. And we're going to say goodbye. Yeah. Goodbye. And I know we're going to end now. You want to smile? Yeah. Bye. <laughs>